everyone and welcome back to Miss Azriel's Gaming. So today we're going to get back into Valhalla and we're going to make some more drinks. So let's go ahead and load back in. Uh, we were on day two, I believe. Okay, so she's thinking about a hollow plant. I know I can buy one, but I need to make sure that I have money. Um, I don't know what it does to actually buy the stuff when she wants it. $600. It's still have the money. Can I, how do I? Please click again to confirm. There we go. Okay. So she was thinking about Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She was surely focused at work. So really, I don't, I don't know what that does uh, for you, but uh, we went ahead and bought it because that's what she was wanting to. All right. So for, weren't you going to have curry yesterday, Jill? A ghost took my money. Okay, now I think we read Okay, no, we did not read the argument to die. So, Local Woman, Local Hero by Lena Smith. Uh, this morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by the pedestrian, but the uh, person jumped off without notice. A mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch the midair and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Okay, so 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting by Lainey Smith. So this is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is why from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month, we asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a local, uh, with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good because it sucks. It sucks so much I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh. Can't even finish this article. I'm sorry everyone, but I have to puke. Blech. I hope is put on out of sale okay so i think alice rabbit might be a dog don't trust this dog by laney smith a dog you say why not after receiving brain enhancements they're capable of learning at near human speeds so why is it Im so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming it makes a lot of sense right well maybe and then there's a bunch of zero one zero one zero one zero one zero zero Okay, so we've done all that, so let's go ahead and go to work. Okay, so Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening, Jill. Hey, Jill. Bah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. B boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait, do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet's comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. Hello. It's, a, it's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Ugh. Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Chief? S sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll uh, detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Okay, so we'll just ready it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. Isn't that like a big beer? I don't remember. Hey, get a... Oh, right there. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It's been so long since I played. Okay, so anything large is over 10, so you double everything. So we have 1, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Okay. Oh, oh no, not no, no reset, sir. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches come flocking to me like the first high schoolers with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was turning the details of the interview, or tuning the details of the interview I'd had with her today. And, like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Oh my god, this guy's a pig. We've come a long way in the department of Lilum sex appeal, I'll tell you. She was a Lilum then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class uh, CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a development stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is most, mostly the aftermath of the previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese. Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Canta what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Um, sure, sure on it. He wants a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace. Alright. Okay, so we have a Mars Blast. So that's one of these is enough to leave your red face red like the actual planet. Spicy, manly, and strong. Okay, so we have six of the Bronsons. One, two, three, four, five, six. One Powder Delta. One, two, three, four. And two of these. One, two. All blended. Haha. 
answer. Here. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey, Ken, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything to someone, uh, said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff? How they feel like, uh, how they feel like they have more power than you do and all that? Oh, yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in... what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Uh, excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right when you're wrong, unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff, people. Shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eye. But make one fucking mistake, and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. God forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. <sighs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I'm in a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most natural way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's, he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. Okay, so he wants something bitter. Mm, got the sunshine cloud. Let's go to the next one. I don't think it goes to the next one. I think I have to constantly go back. Gut punch. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel when drinking it. Well, let's go with that one. That sounds like it'd be really bitter. I wonder if some alcohol would help, too. Maybe we can max out the alcohol. So one, two, three, that's four, five. One of these. I wonder what happens if I just max it all. There we go. Okay, and then it's all aged and mixed. Gut punch. Okay, let's serve it to him, see what happens. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, Joel, Gene, Gomiro, Hirisho, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoyed, annoying enough to make me remember him. So, I don't know. I feel like I, I cocked-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock-block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. Oh my god, dude, this guy is... What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. 
Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so I know. I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common quarry. Quarry, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? what did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, d don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But, I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people, where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to sell something, or to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano cam module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from uh, from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie uh, surroundings colored blob. And, well, Lilum said things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Okay, that's five of these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. All aged and mixed. Sir. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday? Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there really isn't a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? 
Fine. Consider this standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Uh, Dorothy? Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nimbulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nimbulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Um, a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Oh, that was that one dude. Yeah, I got to his house at 11 a.m., dressed as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when I ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Okay, so we're gonna make a moon blast. Okay, so we need six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this uh, game is definitely a little more uh, adult rated than the coffee talk. The coffee talk's more kind of family friendly ish. And this one, you know has a lot more on it. So on the rocks and needs to be blended. So no relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Here we go. Serve it. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar downed in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single, and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC's 72's look like kids? Yes and no. At a factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Oh, that's creepy. Just thinking about the conversation they've been having. That's gross and creepy. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. Oh, that's just gross and disgusting. She has Johns that want her to be underage. That's creepy and weird and those people should be arrested. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? <laughs> I'm talking at the same time, that's funny. Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the clink of your shaker. 
Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. He looks like, um, Kano, except for, uh, uh, well, yeah, no, Kano has hair, although I think in, like, what, in the younger versions of him in Mortal Kombat, he has a shaved head, if I remember right, but, hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, then. Let me get your orders. Okay, so one big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Oh, excuse me. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Okay, so we need a sunshine cloud. Uh, it says one big one, so we have to double everything. Okay, so we need four of these. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll just put four of those. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel, too. Okay, so it's on the rocks, and it's blended. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. <laughs> okay, and then we click next. Okay, and then we need a... What was it? A gut punch? Yeah. Okay, so we need a gut punch. I'm assuming it's a normal because it didn't say large. So we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. One of these. Eh, let's throw in two of those. Okay, so all aged and then just mixed. And gut punch. And serve. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenience, convenient card with update fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Um, yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted, or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam... Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so that much, if any, uh, so, th so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine. See if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right. I'm going to go and take my... Gil! I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. <laughs> That's hilarious that he wasn't like, hey, my hands aren't girly. <laughs> so he must agree that they are. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry about it. So you have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you're usually, you usually seem to have a blast with Gil's when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. So, a Mars Blast, Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Is there another one? Oh, a Mercury Blast. wonder what happens if you do. 
<laughs> but we'll uh, we'll stick to the Mars blast. We don't want him to like explode on us or anything. Who knows what it would do? Okay, so six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. Four of these. Two of these. And all blended. Wow, we've already made five thousand dollars. And if I don't mess anything up, I get a I get a little bonus with it. So Mars Blast, here we go. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if it's just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fight fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Joe. Boss, break. All right. Okay, so we'll save it here. And get back to it. It's now safe to keep playing. Boss could clean the chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Okay, we'll just stick with the music. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns the helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Or, right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of af uh, afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice. Nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Uh, let me see what I can get you. Okay, something like tea, or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter. Okay, so let's go to the uh, girly drinks. And we need something bitter. Isn't Sunshine Cloud? That's considered bitter. Um, girly drink. Let me look at the, what are the bitter ones again? Grizzly Temple, Suplex, Prior Driver, Gut Punch, Sunshine, Sugar Rush, Sparkle Star, Blue Fairy, Fluffy June. Okay, so nothing stands out with the name. She wants something that has tea in it, like similar to tea. I'm curious. Let's just scroll through and see if anything's labeled tea. You know, like, because I'm thinking like a Long Island iced tea. So maybe there's something similar. Okay, I'm not... At least not in those. Okay, so let's look at the drinks maybe listed this way. Maybe we're not running into something. Bleeding Jane. Okay, I don't see anything there. So let's go through the names because maybe... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so... 
let's see, so something like tea or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter. Maybe I just have to mix something? I don't, I'm not really sure because I don't, it wouldn't be sugar rush. Uh, sweet, girly, and happy. Bitter, strong, and manly. Um. Okay, let's compare them. So, uh, for bitter... It's possible the yellow makes the bitter? I'm not sure. No, manly, strong. Okay, so yellow must be for strong. I think girly is like the less alcohol and the powder. Bitter could be the green one. I wonder if I could just throw something together. I'm kind of curious because I feel like I don't have anything uh, that she would want. You see, the girly drinks, like, don't have a lot in them. A fedora. What is this? With perfume and plum, every drink here is priced at 500 Hmm. Is this the only thing we have here? If I click on this, this doesn't give it to her, does, does it? What's a fedora? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just pick one. Um, maybe a grizzly temple? But that's not very tea-like, though. I mean, I don't I wouldn't think it is. Maybe a suplex? It's probably... Well, it's manly, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. So we'll just I don't want to mix anything and like mess up my money, so maybe we'll just go with something um girly and sweet. Let's see if we can get one that says maybe it's got bitter listed. I don't think any of the girly drinks have bitter to be okay, this one does. Maybe we should just go with a sunshine cloud because I don't have anything that's listed as tea. Um, I do know that you can buy drinks um, in the like the little the little store area, um, like where we bought the plant. But I'm I'm not sure, so we'll just we'll we'll go with this one because I don't. I don't have anything labeled tea, like I was thinking with like a Long Island iced tea. Okay, so on the rocks and blended. So we'll just we'll just go ahead and go with that. Okay, so there's the there's the sun cloud. So we'll just go ahead and stir that. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, Miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrows. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. So, so should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira? M Miki? No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira? Miki? Almost there. Kira? Miki. Kira? Miki. Kira? Miki. 
Dude, Gil, that's creepy. Kira, Miki, that's it. Are you feeling it? Kira, Miki, Kira, Miki, Kira, Miki. And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Oh, right. I was just telling you. Wow, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer's always obnoxious while what that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I, I see. How big is the concert? We played for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? L let's see what I can get you. Something soft. wonder if she means alcohol-free or something. Oh my god. What the hell does something soft mean? Probably girly and really sweet. Okay, so one of these will make all your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. Oh, no, that would be funny. Uh, let's go ahead and give her this one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. You know what? I'm going to make it a big one. One, two, three, four. Let's live a little and see what happens. One, two, aged, and mixed. I won't put any alcohol on it. Blue fairy syrup. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? A. Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped it from his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this class important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill, never lose your star from Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing something, uh, someone with as many fans as you, as you, wait, something many fans as you has, I think it should be have. So as many fans as you have, their fair share of stalkers, right? As you has. Wait, how, why am I reading that? I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Okay, I think there should have been like a comma in there. Okay, well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a, a lot, too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They would make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothering some, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember once, uh, one once protected me from being mugged. 
There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait. It isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. And this one I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. You know what, Jill? You can kiss my butt. Because I have a feeling that's a dig at me and the fact that I can't do latte art. So, I'm not talking anymore to Jill. Never going to make her coffee either. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see, what can I find for you? She wants something bitter, maybe to sober up a bit. Okay, so we've got bitter. Um, let's look. Well, sunshine, maybe that's a clue. She did say she was doing something called, what was it, sunshine stone or something? Okay, so let's do this. And uh, we'll max it out. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Is that enough? Yeah, so two, two, four. And it's still girly. So it should be what you like. So put it on the rocks and it gets blended. It should work. Hopefully it does. There we go. And we'll serve. Actually, I think that's what I gave her earlier because I didn't know what to give her for a tea. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how's it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. Well, you asked for bitter. <laughs> I figured it was for waking you up or something, so really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but, hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki. I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa, why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? That was my moniker during my wrestling days. Your, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, so I got a flawless service bonus that time. So we earned 6,450. Drinks total was 1,170. Commission was 30%. Today's payment is 351. Tips was 1,100. Flawless service bonus is 500. Grab a snack on my way home. It's on me. 300 extra from our boss. So today's total transfer was 2,251. Total funds is 3,371. So we definitely made bank. Okay, your membership to the Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 by them. Jill is humming, your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kira Miki's blog. Okay, four, did the idol really show up or is she like the ghost? Jill, hey. Okay, so she said something about... What is here? Let's check to see if there's anything. Mulan T. Oh my god, that's 900. 900. Converted tea liquid. Tea-based liquor tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. That's 900. Your love is a drug. Idle Hell, a magazine with all things idle, has a download code for your love is a drug. So if I bought both of those, it's 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 1,200. I still have money. Okay, so we went ahead and bought that. And let's go ahead and buy the tea. Okay, Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She was surely focused at work. See, I don't know if that really does anything. I don't know if it changes it, like if I didn't buy it. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and end it there. Uh, that is our second day working, you know, at the Valhalla Bar. Hopefully you've been enjoying it. We definitely are running into um, quite unique characters. Uh, Mr. Donovan is probably the uh, uh, the most ridiculous, I would say, you know, with the stuff that he says. and But it's still, it's funny and it's entertaining and... Um, just it's it's just hilarious to read because the you know my character's reactions are just so funny because she's like man why does he say things like that i kind of get it it's kind of true but why is he saying that so hopefully you guys are enjoying valhalla please let me leave me a comment down below leave me a like subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you next time bye